Yeah, all right, fuckers and fuckettes. What we doing today? I'm just kind of showing you the progress I've made today. This is taking me all fucking day. I got the tail section on. No, the stock seat pad is not staying with that. I'm gonna make him get a real Lockhart one. The um, tail light I'm gonna slip up underneath um, because that clicks out of these Yamaha boxes really good. Boom, 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 boom. I still have to make the bracket for that. I've made the brackets for everything else. I've got the oil pan just kind of sitting there. I haven't drilled my side and I haven't um, gotten around to drilling my tail for that bracket. Um, my bracket's up under here. I'm going to use the Lockhart, that little stupid fiberglass pad that they give you, that crossbar. Um, I just haven't gotten that far yet today. Um, I've actually made an aluminum one. I might make a thicker aluminum one. I've made these brackets five or six times. If I have to make them 30, that's acceptable. Well, at least to me, the kid might think I'm taking too long. This is that Yamaha R6 with the, the uh, custom tape job. But, you know, people wonder why I don't work on, why I'll send people away with bikes that are newer than 1990. Man, look at all this plastic ass shit on this motherfucker. We're going to cut it down to about you know, one, two, three pieces because the whole front cowl is a single piece now. Um, and I still got to cut in the holes on the cowl for the headlights. But like I say, it's taken me all morning just to get that fucking fender and tailpiece fitted in the oil pan. See, we'll have it cut down to three pieces, four if you count the windshield itself. There's a new bracket in there for the inside where he busted that ear. So it's all good, life is wonderful. And his camera's making some strange noises. I wonder if that fan ain't failing again. But, uh, yeah, just that fender took me a couple hours to fit it because I put it up there, measured it five or six times before I finally decided to drill it. I had the right spot kind of thing. Um, which I do. It's not hitting anywhere. Yeah, it's rubbing a little bit, but I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, that's this morning's progress. And like I say, this seat isn't staying. I'm not going to cut up a stock seat. I'll make him get a Lockhart pad, just in case he ever wants to take it back to stock later, because his tail section is actually pretty good shape. It's not scratched up too bad. It can be sanded and repainted. Um, which the whole thing's going to have to get painted afterwards anyway, but everything's got to be fit up first. And anyway, just so you all know, it's a 150 ohm resistor you use for uh, to bypass that tip over switch. <laughs> but uh, Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later.